Hey traders and welcome to another Forex market predictions video or structure based trading video. Not real sure what I want to call this one. I've been doing a few of these and this is going to be episode 9 part 2. If you'd like to see episode 9 part 1 I'll put a link in the description along with in the top right hand side of your screen. In these videos I like to take you guys through the top 5 major pairs and show you key levels of structure that I'll be paying attention to for personal trading opportunities. These are levels that I see as important and that I'll be using for swing trading throughout this week and on into next week. So today we'll be talking about the pound dollar, dollar yen, and dollar Swiss. And I'm not gonna keep you guys waiting. I'll let the intro and disclaimer roll and I'll be right back to share with you guys the key structure levels that I'm paying attention to for trading opportunities throughout the rest of this week. Welcome back traders. So before we get started in today's video, if you are new here to the trading channel, then go ahead and click that subscribe button to be alerted when we come out with other free educational content here on YouTube. If you're a beginner, if you're someone just starting out in Forex trading or just starting out in any market, then educating yourself is going to be one of the most important things in your trading, especially right now. So don't go out there if you're brand new to trading and try opening a live account. Instead, immerse yourself in some good educational content, whether that be free content like this here on YouTube or paid education. It's much easier and much faster to get where you want to be in your trading career by following someone who's already there. It's going to be a lot easier if you actually educate yourself. So now let's go ahead and start today's video on the pound dollar. So looking here at the pound dollar, we can see that we still have this level of support in our blue line at the 1.2877 level holding up as support for the moment. Now this market looks as though it could break through this level and if that happens then this level will become resistance. So what we actually need to do is go ahead and we'll leave this line blue for now because we haven't actually broke below it quite enough to call it resistance. But what we can do is look at our next levels of support here on the pound dollar. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my line tool change the color to blue and our next level of support here on the pound dollar is going to come in right in there so that's going to be the next level of support we have based on this major structure analysis on the daily chart the reason for that is because one two three touches so this level has been respected three different times as support and resistance making it a major level of structure out here on the daily chart and what that means is that if this market does fall through our level of support that we're kind of hovering around right now at this 1.287 level if we actually fall through that level then the next level we'll be looking at for a counter trend opportunity to the long side because at that point we will have broken structure to the downside on this market this is the level we'll be looking for a counter trend long opportunity from as our next major level of structure now the other thing we need to do is take a look at resistance levels. We need to see what we're going to be looking at if this market decides to go up and not down. And for that, I'm looking at this level here, and I'm going to go ahead and change this line to red, the 1.305 zone. So the reason for that, again, guys, is because we're looking at a level that's been tested one, two, three, four, at least four times out here on this high time frame, the daily chart as resistance and support, making it a major level. So for resistance, if this market does push up, the 1.305 level is what we're going to be looking at for shorting opportunities. Now we do have another resistance level, and that is actually going to be right here. So this is the lonely resistance level is what I call it. It's a resistance level that is the highest level we have for a while. So this is the highest level the market's made it to within the past eight months or so. Because of that, that's going to be my next major resistance level. And we also have a couple of different touches. We have a touch here, a little bit of support here, and again, resistance here. So for the pound dollar, our resistance and support levels are starting with support. The level we're at right now and the market's hovering around, possibly we could get some long entries from this level. And that level is the 1.285, 1.284 zone. And if we break through that level, what we'll be looking at next is a 1.276 zone. And if this market decides to rally from here, if we get a little push, a little bit of value increase for the pound, then we'll be looking at the 1.305 zone as shorting opportunity zone and the 1.322 zone as another shorting opportunity zone if we do bust through that level. 
So that's what we're going to be looking at for our structure based trading opportunities here on the pound dollar. Now we can go ahead and move along to the dollar yen. So this pair has actually just bounced off a major level of daily support. Not much is going to change for this pair, but what we have now is a nice bounce off daily support. What does that mean? That means that we could possibly see this market continue up to our next resistance level. So in preparation for that, we may be looking for long opportunities on this pair on lower time frames. Currently, I don't see a way to get involved, but if we get some kind of entry, let's think very far ahead and say that we get maybe some type of advanced pattern from this level, then that could be a way to enter this market going long for advanced pattern traders. And if on our lower time frame, we get some kind of simple pattern breakout in around this area, then that could be an opportunity for simple pattern traders to take this market long up to our next level at 112.02, which is going to be our next daily resistance level. Now again, guys, I'll stress the importance that none of us know what the market's going to do. All we can do is make predictions and give ourselves a statistical advantage over the market by trading a strategy that we've tested throughout historical data and found to be profitable. That's how profitable trading actually works as a technical trader. So at this point on the dollar yen, what we'll be looking at when it comes to structure levels is if this market continues to push up, then we'll be looking at the 112.02 zone for possible shorting opportunities. And if we push above that level for our next shorting opportunities, we'll be looking at 114.18. Now if this market does push down off of this bounce we've had and decides to push down from that, what we can look for is another test of the 108.73 zone for another small bounce possibly. If we do get back down to this level then I don't expect much of a big bounce. If we get all the way back down to 108.73 then I could see this market breaking through the 108.73 and if that does happen then we'll be looking at 106.79 as our next level of structure support for long opportunities on the dollar yen. So that's something we'll be paying attention to throughout the rest of this week and into next week on the dollar yen. We can now take a look at our final pair for this video, which is going to be the dollar Swiss. And here on the dollar Swiss, we have a pretty interesting situation setting up. We have this market coming up to test a major level of daily resistance. And that's always interesting. So let's go ahead and drop down to a lower time frame. At the moment, we are at a daily level of resistance, meaning that we can look for a counter trend trading opportunity. This market has begun to rally and, and actually is broken structure creating a possible reversal. Of course, we don't know yet. We won't know until this market decides to go up or down whether this is going to be a reversal, but it is a possible reversal considering that we've broken. Let me zoom in and make this easier to see, guys. Sorry about that. We've broken this level of resistance out here on the daily chart. So that's the only thing that would make me hesitant about taking a shorting opportunity, but this is a major level of daily resistance. And according to my trading plan, this is where I'm allowed to take counter trend opportunities. So although I'm hesitant because of what I see on the chart, I'm still going to stick to my plan, guys. I'm still going to stick to the trading plan that I've tested in the market and found to be profitable. So let's go ahead and zoom down to a smaller time frame. See if we can find some kind of entry reason here. So here, something we could look out for is a possible double top scenario at this level. Maybe we get something like this and a specific entry reason to go short or possibly a reversal trade off of this area. And what I mean by that is the market pushing down, breaking a previous level of support, and then pulling back and giving us an opportunity to go ahead and trade this as a reversal off of this daily level of resistance. So that's what we'll be looking for for the moment on the dollar Swiss. And if this level of resistance is broken here on the dollar Swiss, then the next level of resistance we'll be looking at to take advantage of a shorting opportunity is the 0 0.9844 zone. And if this market does in fact push down from this level, a place where we'll be taking possible second targets if we do get involved in a trade and looking for a counter trend long opportunity will be at the 0.965 zone. Now beyond that, if the market does break through that zone, we'll be looking at 0.9538 for our next level of possible long opportunities. So that's some of the major levels we're looking at in the market for these pairs. If you'd like to receive a free butterfly pattern course and also be alerted about other free educational content that we produce that we do not post here on YouTube, then what you can do is go ahead and head over to thetradingchannel.net and sign up for our email list 
Doing so will ensure that you not only receive these free educational videos that we post here on YouTube first, but also other educational content that we produce such as trainings and also one of my own potential trade setups each week. And again guys, you'll also receive a free butterfly pattern course for doing so. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, make sure you're subscribed here to our YouTube channel. Make sure to share this video with anyone you think would find it valuable. And just to end on a good note guys, we actually do have an advanced cipher pattern here on the pound dollar. So for those of you who are advanced pattern traders and have this in your trading plan on the daily chart and on the pound dollar, it's actually putting in a pretty nice entry now down at lower levels to give you a better risk reward and right at that daily level of support. Not a bad looking trading opportunity. So guys, good luck in all your future trades. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you guys in the next video.